Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. And here today I'm going to show you how to use the thrust vectoring and showing you the ground avoidance collision systems on the uh, Su-30 with the new AFM. So first thing you want to do for the thrust vectoring is you want to switch this on. And you also want to switch this on as well. Now in control settings, I have uh, this set to or toggle thrust or toggle thrust vectoring on and off. I have this set to where I put my uh, you know stick deflection override on my flanker. Uh, you guys can put it wherever you want to. It's personal preference. Um, the first thing I want to show you guys is the uh, the ability for the thrust vectoring to be off if you're in high speed flight. So you don't have to worry about uh, breaking or damaging your airplane. Um, so let's go ahead and get the speed up. So they have it modeled to where at a certain speed it'll completely cut off the thrust vector. So you don't, it's not even in use uh, when you're flying fast. So I'm going to pull full left. I'm going to pull full right. And as you guys can see, uh, there's no uh, damage or anything like that. Let's go to the outside view. And as you guys can see, thrust vectoring is not engaged because the computer disabled it. So that's done in the uh, computer system of the fly-by-wire. All right, let's go and slow down now. I'll show you guys some uh, high AOA thrust vectoring maneuvers. speed low real fast all right first maneuver I'm gonna do is a flip or a double flip so here we go all the way back on the stick there's one and there's two now the plane has a three axis uh, or 3D uh, thrust vectoring, so you have it in the pitch roll and y'all axis. And that is a big advantage in uh, BFM or slow speed dogfighting. Um, let's go ahead and perform a maneuver that's my favorite. Uh, the high alpha pass. Pulling up, just adding a little bit of rudder here. A little bit of aileron. And just gonna pull all the way back on the stick here just a little bit. Go ahead and ease her in. I'm just gonna hang her on the blades. As you guys can see. She has plenty of power to hang on the blades here, as you guys can see, with three missiles on the uh, aircraft. I'm going to go ahead and level back out. Uh, note that you can only perform that maneuver if you're light, like low on fuel, um, and have a light weapons load. Uh, if you have a full weapons load and a fuel fuel load, you won't be able to hang on the blades, uh, but you'll still be able to use thrust vector in uh, different maneuvers. Uh, so let me go ahead and cut this off. Um, I want to go ahead and show you guys the ground avoidance uh, system or collision avoidance system. So if you ever get into a situation where you are going, you know, you are blacking out, you're pulling on a stick a lot, or you're just in a low visibility situation and uh, you're not sure, you know, if you're going to hit something or if you think the plane's going to crash, uh, the system will save the airplane. So. Let's just pretend that uh, we were blacking out during an engagement or avoiding a missile. I'm going to get us somewhere uh, there's not a lot of trees. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn around. And let's say we blacked out right here. You'll see that it'll 
correct itself real quick. There you go. That's another cool feature that we've uh, added to the module. I'll just go ahead and correct this real quick. Correct my track IR. So you have you. So basically, you're worry-free um, when you have that engaged. Uh, please note that uh, if you have thrust vector engaged, that will not work. It'll disable the uh, avoidance uh, collision avoidance system, and you'll crash. Um, if you're also low on the deck flying too, uh, it'll also correct you. So let's say, you know, we're getting low to, you know, notch a missile or something, right? Then we make a turn here. Let's try the thrust back right off. It will automatically correct you if the plane detects that you're too low. I'm trying to make sure I avoid the trees because, you know, if you hit the trees, you will die. And as you guys seen just there, it corrects itself. So the collision avoidance is really, really a great feature. It's awesome. Um, you can turn it on and off by flipping this switch. So down is the uh, on position. Up is the off position. We're going to go ahead and turn it back on. Um, so yeah, that concludes today's video uh, of the thrust tracking in the ground uh, avoidance collision system. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoy the mod, and uh, happy flying, and have a happy new year. See you later, comrades.